guys, welcome back to my channel. First off, I just want to say thanks to those who have subscribed so far. I honestly cannot believe I met my first goal of 100 subscribers. It really means a lot to me. Anyway, today I wanted to share with you one of my favorite fall recipes, and this is a healthy one. This is chickpea butternut squash soup. I'll link the recipe below, but I did make some tweaks to it, so just keep watching to see how I made this. I doubled up a bunch of ingredients in this recipe, so you'll need two cartons of vegetable broth, three cans of chickpeas, one onion, I'm using a sweet onion, about 10 ounces of fresh baby spinach, two pounds of butternut squash. My store actually carries the pre-cut version, so I'm using that. Some ginger and some garlic. I already had the pre-minced kind of both of these on hand. And then lastly, some seasoning. For spices, you'll need ground pepper, cumin, coriander, and cinnamon. So the first thing I'm doing is opening up the three cans of chickpeas and draining them in a strainer and then rinsing them. Hey! Next, I'm actually cutting the butternut squash into smaller bite-sized pieces. This is optional. Some of the pieces were already small enough, so I just separated them out. Magically, everything was cut. <laughs> Just kidding. Next up, I am dicing the onion, and surprisingly, I actually didn't even cry for once. This recipe said to put the onions in the microwave for about two minutes, so that's what I'm doing here. Then you just add all the ingredients to the crock pot. I'll leave right here how much of each of the spices and other seasoning I added. Last thing I'm adding is the broth. You might notice this recipe is called a stew, but I wanted it to be more of a soup. And that's why I added more broth and less chickpeas. Stir everything together, then set the crock pot to low for seven hours or on high for four hours. It's the next morning, so don't mind me in my pajamas. The very last step is to add the spinach. I'm adding eight handfuls and stirring after two handfuls since this is almost already overflowing. Set the crock pot to high for 15 minutes. And there you 
have it guys. It literally smells and tastes like fall. I like to add a little Parmesan cheese on top. So that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll catch you next time. Bye. Thank you.